What is up guys, Doom Omega here bringing you guys another Pokemon Duel video. Um, sorry for the no webcam today, I literally just woke up and wanted to check out the update. It's looking pretty good so far, I'm not gonna lie. Um, we got some pretty sweet figures, I can go over this stuff real quick for you guys. So we got the introduction of Tapu Koko, Magnezone, and Vikavolt for EXs, and then we got a few other figures. Um, I can go right to the, the store or the shop right here and show you guys we are going to be opening up some boosters today we're going to open up one of the um one of the special packs which is going to be the 500 gems or whatever uh now we can go to the recommended yeah okay so we got tapu coco vikavolt and magneton for EXs, and for rares we got magneton and electrode and for uncommons we got Rubbin, Charger Bug, and Oracorio. Now, if you guys don't know already, these are actually figures from Sun and Moon. So they have introduced Sun and Moon figures, which is really cool to see. I'm glad they definitely introduced those um, as quick. I thought it was going to be a bit longer, but I'm glad they did get them as quick. And yeah, we're going to go ahead and open up one of these pen packs here, and hopefully we can get something good. Um, if you guys didn't see already, you guys get a Dark Ray today for a login bonus for the um, special, I think it was like 17 million or something like that, downloads. But we're going to go ahead and open up this pack right now. Hopefully we can get a Tapu Koko. Tapu Koko's wheel looks pretty insane. Not going to lie. Magnezone and Vikavolt are kind of meh. In my opinion, but... I guess we're going to see what we're going to get. We're going to go ahead and open up. Come on, let's go, baby. I also wouldn't mind a Seismitoad. We are going to get Uncommon there, which is... Hey, there we go. We got a Palpitoad. It knows. And let's go. Let's get an EX right now. Let's get an EX. Uh, it looks like it's going to be a rare. Onyx, I've gotten quite a few of those, nothing great. Uh, come on, EX, baby. There we go, we are gonna get an EX. What is it gonna be? It's gonna be a Raikou, yo. I don't have a Raikou yet, so I will definitely take it. And if you have seen the ability of Tapu Koko, it's like you gain plus 30. It, like it's uh, Electric Surge, I'll have to go over it after, but it has a pretty cool ability, so Raikou could potentially be good with it. And Zapdos, obviously. We're gonna get a Flareon, nothing good. Hopefully, Raikou wasn't my only EX, though, because that would be pretty bad. Especially for a 10 pack. Usually, you get at least two. I shouldn't jinx myself, though, because I have pretty bad luck with these booster openings. Come on, looks like it's going to be uncommon. Nothing great. Oh, it's a rare, actually. It's a Leafeon. So, not, that's pretty good. I don't mind Leafeon as a runner. Come on, let's get an EX. Let's get an EX. Nope, no EX for me. Actually, it is EX. Wow, Greninja. I was not expecting that. We got two EXs so far. Ooh, this one's turning. This one's turning. What are we going to get? Uh, another Leafeon. Wow, okay. We're getting some runners. We get one more EX. That would be good if we get one more. I'd be happy with one more. Another Leafeon. Jesus. Three Leafeons. And that is going to be it. So we got two EXs. We got a Greninja and a Raikou. Uh, nothing great, honestly. Like... Pretty underwhelming. I'm gonna go ahead. I do have one booster ticket that I might as well open as well. Check out. If we could get an EX from that, that would be pretty insane. But oh my, this banner is pretty interesting, I must say. Lots of electric types, so I'm assuming the next gym is gonna be electric flying, probably. If I had to guess. So um get your Zapdoses ready. Because <laughs> Zapdos is gonna be pretty powerful in that gym. We got a Vibrava enough. That's not too bad. Vibrava's pretty decent. Um, let's just go ahead and look at the materials and check out these guys wheels real quick Um, no team event match that I saw so that's kind of unfortunate to see. Hopefully we see that in the near future And let's go down to the wheels of the we'll start off by these guys. Um Honestly electrode seems like a pretty decent Pokemon. It's kind of like a meta meta counter Um, it's gonna counter most of the swords of justice with um, the ability of Shock Blast being that if it spins, if the opponent spins an attack that is 101 or more, the battle opponent is knocked out also. So that's a pretty cool ability. Um, the ability of Aftermath Switch is like, if um, your Pokemon gets knocked out, you may knock out one of your Voltorb on the field and all the Pokemon adjacent to it. So I assume if you have a Voltorb on the field and there's someone next to it, then you can also knock them out too. So that could be an interesting deck maybe in like a room match or something to try out eventually, but nothing too crazy. It's a, it's a pretty cool Pokemon. I'll give them that. And then we got Magneton with the Electromagnetic Barrier ability. 
Um, you can't respin or do anything like that. You can't use Poliwhirl against it, I don't think. I think that's what it means. And it just has Tri Attack and dodges all over. And Tri Attack's a pretty good move because if, you're the, if you get knocked out, then you're guaranteed to Paralyze, Burn, or Freeze a Pokemon. So that's pretty. that could be actually pretty good with status decks. Because this thing, if, if it dies, it's basically you're getting someone's status conditioned. So that could be pretty cool with like maybe a Genesect or something and use like a Shock Drive Plate or something. Or even a, um, even a, what is that one? I forget what it's called, but it's the one that if, you, if you're frozen or something like that and you knock it out, it gets eliminated. And where is our next babies? There we go. We got Tapu Koko. Now this Pokemon is ability, it's, it's Electric Surge. And it says that if this this ability is only valid on your turn, this Pokemon can MP move past non-fairy type Pokemon on the field when you or when this Pokemon is on the field, your electric type Pokemon deal plus 30 damage. And the effect is not cumulative, so you can't use like more than one Tapu Koko. And it removes the sleep the asleep condition from Pokemon within two steps of this Pokemon. So that's a pretty insane ability. Especially like this is gonna this might be a new runner honestly because it kills Mew it has a 12 miss so that means it's gonna have an 8 miss at level 5 and um, 4 miss at level 9 I think and yeah it honestly looks pretty good I'm not gonna lie but the main thing that I like about this one is it's it's blue move mealy 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 wish and it says you may select one of your other Pokemon if you do this Pokemon is excluded from the duel until the end of the duel, the selected Pokemon gets MP3. And when on the field can use an MP move to fly over Pokemon that doesn't have Sword. So imagine you have like a Charizard. And you spin that wheel and you get Mealy Mealy Wish. Uh, you can grant that Charizard the ability to fly over Pokemon that doesn't have Sword. It'll get 3 MP for the whole duel. At the cost of this thing being eliminated. Honestly, if the time comes. And I think this could be a pretty... Pretty cool thing to play around with because it's definitely situational but like imagine like having some pretty there's some pretty like overpowered 1 mp mons like imagine Rayquaza having 3 mp and moving over opponents it's gonna be a interesting interesting pokemon to add to a deck and i think we're gonna be seeing a lot of it to be honest this could be a new meta um i'm not sure how it's gonna go i haven't seen any yet because i haven't played any matches since new banner came out but um if it is i'm gonna wait and hold on to these materials i do have enough to buy one so we're definitely going to hold on to that because Tapu Koko looks pretty insane, I'm not going to lie. And next we're moving on to Vikavolt. It has the ability Spark Noise. When this Pokemon moves from the bench to the field, the Pokemon on the opponent's bench spin. Pokemon that spin a purple attack gain weight. So it's it's pretty, it's not a great ability, but it's not bad either. I mean, it can be useful if you're trying to get weight wins or something like that. But other than that, not too useful. You can slow down the opponent a little bit. And then it has the moves Air Slash, which is a 70 damaging move. Um, the battle opponent gains weight if it's neutral, or if it um, if you get knocked out. Then has Zap Cannon, which is a 100 damage move. And if the, it says the battle opponent and the Pokemon in a straight line directly behind it become paralyzed, those Pokemon gain weight. So if you get knocked out or it goes neutral, then I'm assuming you're getting everyone that's parallel or adjacent to it is also going to get paralyzed and gain weight. Then has Volt Switch, it just basically if you land a Volt Switch versus a White move, then you're able to switch out Vikavolt with another Pokemon on your bench. And then it just has a couple dodges, um, honestly I don't see it being a meta figure. It's it's cool that they added it, I like Vikavolt as a Pokemon in Sun and Moon, so um, it's cool that it's an EX, but it's not that great in my opinion, I can't see it being a meta Pokemon or anything like that. Then we got Magnezone, um, when this Pokemon is on the field, your Pokemon that are both electric and steel type deal plus 20 damage so other magnezone and uh magneton and magnemite are going to gain plus 20 damage what is there any other electric steel pokemon i can't think of any off the top of my head right now but it has a 12 miss uh 16 dodge that has a 100 flash cannon and then shockwave which is 32 so that's going to be the majority of its wheels with between flash cannon and shockwave um, Shockwave says the battle opponent and the succession of Pokemon adjacent to it, excluding this one, become paralyzed. So it's kind of got a similar effect to, um, uh, as Vikavolt, sorry. So those are going to be our three new EXs. There was a few uncommons, I think. So we're going to go over those really quickly. I thought Oracorio was pretty cool. Um, the ability of it, this thing's kind of... 
I mean, it's going to be kind of hard to kill if you don't have a gold attacker. Got a 32 bug bite, which isn't that great. Um, returns the battle opponent to its start of the dual state. So if you have like a Reshiram or a Zekrom, if you knock it out, then it gets nine weight or whatever. So that's pretty cool. It can do well against those, but there's not too many situations where that's going to be helpful. Um, Dig is a two star purple. It's just like you guys know what Dig does. It's been around for a while. Then a 24 protect. Um, no ability, so nothing too great there. It's not a bad uncommon, but could be better. Now, Charger Bug is the evolution, and it says your electric type Pokemon next to this Pokemon gain plus 1 MP to a maximum of 3 MP. So, if you have an electric Pokemon beside it, then for the next turn, you're able to move that Pokemon 1 extra MP. So, Zapdos would be able to move 3 MP if it was beside it. Um, it's got a Mud Shot, which is 60. Um, you get everyone knows what Mudshot do or Mudshot does because Vibrava has it and it's pretty common. Light screen, what does the light screen do? Uh, I'm not sure what light screen does. It looks like it's just like a protecting move. Same with protect, and that's charge a bug. And then we got Oracorio. Um, it's the pom pom style Oracorio. And the ability pom pom says that when this Pokemon is on the field, your electric type Pokemon deal plus one damage for each electric type Pokemon on the field. So that's pretty cool, it's almost like a better Joltik if you're running an electric deck. I could see people running a cool electric deck with this in like Tapu Koko to get some serious like buffs. And then it has Air Slash which is 50 damaging move, um, opponent gains weight again if it gets knocked out or it's neutral. Welcome Dance says that you may move one Pokemon that is on your bench within its MP range. The move Pokemon gains weight, so you can move someone off the bench like two if it was like a Zapdos. Or something like that. Then it has Roost, which is 24% of its wheel, and then a 12 miss. Not too great, not too great, but um, it's pretty good. It has a cool ability. For an uncommon, it's not bad at all. So, those are gonna be our new Pokemon. Not too many new ones, but that's kind of expected since we already did get a banner um, on September 1st. And if you guys are interested to see what you can get from these, I will go over the box contents real quick from the special. Um, you can still get the UX Mega Venusaur, Blastoise, and Gengar from the 10 packs. Then you have Charizard, Blastoise, Venusaur, Manaphy, Raikou, Suicune, Mew, Zygarde, Swampert, the Legendary Birds, Garchomp, Rhyperior, Chestnut, Delphox, Greninja, Seismitoad, and then the new EX figures, Tapu Koko, Vicavolt, Magnezone, and Gengar are still available. Now, if you guys have most of those, honestly, it's almost better to go with the quad because there's a lot of newer ones like Seismethode would be a good pull, Tapu Koko, so four of those right there are um, probably going to be newer for most people if you didn't get a Gengar from the last booster. So I'm saying if you want new figures it's almost better to go for the quad since there's so many in the special 10 pack. But anyways that is going to be it. Um, in the future I might do a Tapu Koko video, we're going to see how it plays out before I start doing that. And once again guys, sorry for the webcam, it's early in the morning, I just wanted to make a quick video on the new update 4.0.3, and I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time.